which one, which one, which one, which one, which one, this one. That was the one it is. Ready? Just to prove you guys, I have a lot of modifications, so and more to come, more to come, more to come. Welcome to the vlog, guys. Again, match as always. Thank you so much for watching. If you're here for the first time, let me tell you. Welcome, first of all, welcome. If you don't mind, subscribe because we're gonna do a lot of stuff. I mainly do stuff with my Colorado, which is outside. We are going there really soon. Just hang in there. Welcome to the vlog again, guys. Super excited. You guys just saw I have a lot of modifications here. And today, you're gonna. It's something that it's not necessary to be honest but it's something i want to do just because i think it looks better you know what i'm saying it looks better and i had this part i i probably ordered this part like two months ago and it's sitting here and i definitely need to get that done probably by the title and thumbnail you know what it is but let me just show you as you guys saw in the beginning of the video i have a bunch of stuff here this is exciting this is more exciting and this is exciting as well so what i have is i opened this before just to make sure that everything is right i have -da -da -da, the shift knob for the invasion then I, i'm gonna replace the my, my colorado one and you probably are asking yourself why are you doing this because the colorado one thing is nice well but if it can get better why not right i just like the feeling and the look of it and it should be a really straightforward installation i don't think we're gonna need a lot of stuff and by the way if you didn't notice i'm in my basement which is kind of my workstation i got like rough country stickers there here it's all the the space i have to work with pretty much organized now i don't have like the mess that was before um i don't even know why i'm showing this but whatever let's get back to the main topic of today's video we're gonna install this thing and to install this we need this thing here which you guys gave me such a hard time because i didn't have this before and now i do to be honest i didn't get this before i don't know why i have all the plastic tools that i need to re remove plastic piece a, a lot of people said you should get one and they are finally here so if you do a lot of stuff with your truck or car or whatever I really recommend you to get one. You have like many different size and, and styles. There's a link on the description below so you can get yours. I really recommend it. It's gonna be my first time using it. And to be honest, for $13, it's not it's not bad at all. It even it comes with the case and everything else. So you guys gonna see that we're gonna use it today and see how help it is, right? And I know you guys are tired just to see what it is. You guys wanna see the truck and let's get to work. The weather is nice, but I drove to PA to meet up with Rusty. And by the way, if you didn't watch it, the last video was awesome. And thank you guys for all the support and all the good messages and all the good feedback I got from that video that I, I got a chance to, you know, meet Justin, which he has a Colorado and he does a lot of stuff. Yeah, that was great. And I drove like probably almost 350 miles of this thing and it was great. It was great. I don't have anything to complain, but it's so filthy right now. I don't even know if you guys can see. So you see, I cannot get a car wash because tomorrow is probably gonna rain. Without talk, let's get to work. So the main thing here, uh, we're gonna remove that, the stock shift knob first, and then we're gonna see how that's gonna work out. And I would need my tools, so let's get the tools. Boom, we got it. So I'm quite sure this is the one we're gonna use, but anyway, I brought, I brought everything. I'm gonna try to place you guys in somewhere you, where you can see. All right, I think you guys can see good from there, right? First thing you need to do, you need to remove this piece here which should be really easy uh, you can remove I don't think you need to remove those but I will just in case and as everything you do there there are clips on it so you just need to find an edge and work your uh, a good spot it goes like butter so those are the clips that's why you need to like just to find those here uh, and those tools are very helpful. So get yours. Get yours. Don't don't wait. Get yours. And if you guys are wondering why we replace this, is because sometimes my knees gets here. It's not a big deal, but I just think the other one is gonna look better. Uh, it should be from here. And when you do this, see, really easy. I mean, not easy. It's 
again, that scared, it scared the hell of me. I think just because the noise, the, the noise that makes though. Boom, all right. So we're making some progress, boys. We are making some progress. There's a connection here, a connector. So you need to remove because that's, it's kind of like, you see there's wires on it and all the kind of stuff. Just make sure you remove it before you do anything else because you don't want to break it. It's so hard to do this with one hand though. There we go. See, there's a clip there, so you just remove it. Good to go. To be honest, now I think it's the worst part, which is removing the the shift knob. The shift knob is just like attached to it. Uh, now I think it's the hardest part. So let's see. There we go. You just need to make sure you have like some strength. That's what you need. Now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take this inside because I don't need that table. Uh, now what we need to do is this piece here, you see, it's like, you see here, it's a way different size. We need to remove the OEM and put the OEM on the uh, Invision knob. All right, that should be really straightforward, but I don't know. I never like to say it's gonna be easy because it's never easy, all right? So I'm gonna work uh first on the oem i think you have like to push all the way there we go you see uh there are clips here uh, just i think if you push it but you have to push like both at the same time it's hard to do with one hand i think if you use like two screwdrivers it helps a little bit and then you should be able to just there we go now i believe i need to do the same thing with the invision one i think it works the same way you see those two clips uh i think this one if you just push like this should be able to come off yeah there we go so much easier see if you push here should be easy too and that's the part so the only thing we're gonna need from here is this piece right here we're gonna need this piece here because this piece attach with this and doesn't attach with the OEM one so I need to put that part in the OEM I think you can do that with one hand I just don't like to do it with one hand I always think I'm gonna break something though yeah there's just like some kind of glue there you just push it and boom there we go that's the part that we need to do to put it here on this is the OEM one and I I need to remove the same from here there we go that's that's the OEM. I don't know if you guys noticed, but I like to keep the OEM parts just in case. Just in case if something happened, I need to, so for some reason, get my truck back to stock. And, and this one should go here. That goes there. Okay, I think we need just to do... They don't say to put like a glue. I think somehow we need to use like some kind of glue. So you have this part and that this knob goes here, but to keep inside i think you need to put like some kind of glue i'm gonna use this glue here which i don't i'm not even sure if i should but that's the only one i have so i use some glue to fix it uh, just a little bit i i don't think it's gonna be enough even to hold though but i just don't want to mess up with glue and stuff right now so we try to pull back. So again, I just put a little bit of glue though. Don't go crazy with glue at all. So I think now we just put it inside and we should hear a click. There we go. Just be careful with glue. Uh, I just use a little, a little bit, a little, little bit. It's just like enough to hold it because once you put it in there, um the pretty much the thing the the knob holds this piece here together so now it should be easy straightforward and we should be good to go i hope that works because it looks way 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 better let's do it it's not gonna change that much but i think it's just gonna look i don't know i like when i get new stuff to the truck i really do all right to put it back make sure that the connection oh there you go you see you just plug it in and make sure to connect the connector because that's really important boom like a glove that kind of that kind of matches with like the steering wheel and with, with the things here uh i'm happy i mean as long as that works so let's see uh, if we're gonna get anything on the dash okay parking i mean parking oh it's working neutral drive low two three ah it's working it's working woohoo it's working come on boys that was really easy and i'm really happy with how that come came out new shifting knob i really like the way that feels it i mean just 
feels solid. And wow, so much room here now. What do you guys think? Did you guys like it? Let me know in the comments below. So I like it though. I, I just don't know how to explain it to be honest, but I like it. I really do like it. Oh yeah, she sounds great and she looks beautiful. There we go. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below that it's really hard to make it inside looks better because it's already it's a, I think it's like spec to the max at least my truck like I even have like the Bose sound system so I don't have much to do inside to be honest we always can find stuff to do but looks great probably gonna replace all the lights inside of the cab just to make like more modern looks great I love it I love it. Yeah, boys, that's it for today's upload. I hope you guys enjoy it. Again, there's no there's no exactly reason why I did that. It's just because I think it looks better. Make it inside a little bit different. And I want to do, I know. I, I don't have like a, a right explanation for. It's just the fact I want to do. I hope to see you guys next week. Again, I just want to leave that message. Don't let anything stop you from what you want. Make sure to work hard. Sometimes we rely too much in luck. Just make sure to work too hard. That's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to accomplish a lot of things. And if you pay attention the last three vlogs, probably connecting the dots. A lot of good stuff happening in the channel. With the Colorado as well, but with something else. All right? If you are here for the first time, subscribe. If you could do me a favor, smash that like button because that helps a lot. Leave your comment below for any question you have. I try to answer everyone. Also, if you need anything you saw in this video, all the links are in the description below. The tools, the knob for the Envision. That's the knob for the Envision though. I don't know if I said that before, but it, it fits perfect with the Chevy Colorado. So if you wanna grab yours, the link is in the description below. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram. Instagram is just a short way that I can communicate with you guys. And I always, I'm always posting stuff and share a little bit of my life. Again, I hope to see you guys next upload and never forget, enjoy your life.